Hey everybody, welcome back to another video and in today's video, you'll basically get like the entire formula for what it takes to actually generate up to over $1,000 per day consistently on Google and this is like the literally the exact same formula that I use for one of my stores that you can see here in the dashboard of our Shopify store. Um, we did over like 860k with this one store and we also did another um, 150k on another Ger a Germany store and that's over the span of one year 100% on Google and I got this store up to like 2-3k to 3K profit days at its peak it's really really insane and basically right what you find in this video is you're gonna have all the information you need to go ahead and start finding products that will hopefully um, you know do as well as these current stores that we have here although it's probably not gonna be like that easy being honest but um, you know I'm gonna give you give it to you raw and um these are basically the same things that my clients like like um I like my clients pay me five thousand dollars to actually learn. Kind of like similar, but you know, with my one-to-one -one mentorship, we go a lot more in depth, but this is gonna be the overview of everything you're gonna get. Alright. So there are six steps towards building a profitable dropshipping store on Google, doing dropshipping, and this is like literally all you need to like really really understand. You know, if you if you can get these like six elements to 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 master it you know you, you can be like you know the like like the avatar right you master all the four different elements but these are six elements because every single element is extremely important um you can't like miss out any of these elements and these are this is like literally you know if you master all these six things you're gonna be making a lot of money in google 100 percent so first thing right finding a winning product i think this is very obvious whatever platform you use you gotta understand how to find a winning product Number two is building a high commenting website and this is also very obvious. You need to understand how to you know find your your competitive edge within the marketing landscape that you're selling to. You gotta have a reason as to why people should buy from you as compared to your competitors. Um, number three, setting up like very optimized Google Ads listings. Um, um, later on we're gonna go in depth with like every single point. And this is like basically also very important because if you look at what most other dropshippers are doing. They are just basically like launching their product onto their Shopify site and then they are hoping that they will get a sale. They don't really optimize their listings and then they test like 100 and 200 products which is, and they don't find any winning products and they wonder why because those listings are not optimized. Um, number four, getting your GMC to be approved. This is something that I know many of you guys are struggling with and I also receive a lot of um, questions from you guys like how to get over the GMC misrepresentation and I'm gonna give you that just in this video. Number five, how do you set up the shopping campaigns? I will literally go inside my um, Google Ads, Ads account and set up my shopping campaigns. And number six, um, how do you actually scale product once it's successful, right? So let's go into the first thing, right? And actually before we get into the video, right? There's something I also want to do for you guys, which is actually really cool. Um, for every single of these points that I'm sharing um, with you guys, I'm actually going to attach a link to a video that I actually made in the past that explained directly how to, how to actually do it, like how to build a high quality website, how to find a winning product. So... What you're gonna get is from this video is like the overview of the strategy from like an eager's eye view but then you're also gonna learn like the specifics in these other videos that you can go and watch in the link down below so let's get right to it so first thing right finding a winning product extremely important this is like 60 to 70 percent of your success or finding the right products the the best thing that i found for myself right when it comes to um finding a winning product is finding products that are already proven to sell meaning think products that people are already selling successfully um, so many of my winning products are products that people are already su uh, selling successfully because the really cool thing on Google is if someone is like selling successfully right and if you can and if you can like basically take the same product and maybe do it a little bit better than them or uh, maybe like a different angle you're selling to like a different group of people you can also get it to work and sometimes you can even get it to work a lot better and actually one of my products right the smartwatch that I, that I, that I sold which you saw which you did over seven figures in sales my best Google Ad store that's what I did. Like one of the competitors was doing about 20, 30k a month of it. I took his product, I um, you know, basically stole his idea and I made it better and I was doing like 70 to 100k a month throughout the entire year. Really, really great stuff. And it's super consistent guys and it's also automated. Meaning I was like working like two to three hours a week, just checking the ads and basically just like get it, paying my suppliers and making sure my ads are running, uh, like very little to do to manage the business. Number two. Looking for products with like a relative high search volume, but also not being too, you know, like um, not not being too like being like flexible with it. That's what I found is like some products, even though they may not necessarily have like a very high search volume, because the product search term may not actually be that relevant on Google. But it could be a product within like a massive niche, such as a beauty product. Like those are you know V shaped sling masks. I pull up a screenshot right here. You know these are products that. Um, that uh, if you go and search for it on Google, like V-shaped masks, you know, you, you may not get a lot of searches, 
But then if you look at the general demographic of the people they are selling to, it's massive. So don't, don't be too uptight about it. Um, just ideally look for products with like a search term for like 10,000 plus a month. Um, ideally those search, those, the searches are specific towards the product with like over 10k plus searches. Number three, you wanna see how you can like, position yourself differently from the competitors. And this is something that has like worked really, 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 really well for me in my years of uh, doing dropshipping. And in fact, the product I sold that did over a um, million dollars in sales, I will actually put it up right now for you guys, okay? Which is this a little smartwatch over here that did so much money. I was basically just studying my competitors. And if you look at our competitors, which is basically Apple, Samsung, Garmin, like, multi-billion trillion dollar industries uh brands um it's like what like the way you position our, our product was like really simple we just took something that was really working for them and we say like you know what you guys are really making money i also want to have a piece of the pie so what i'm gonna do is instead of like pricing it like 500 dollars i'm gonna price it at like 80 dollars with the same exact features that you guys are offering but like i'm pricing like way cheaper then people are like oh my god this is the best product ever the best smartwatch ever it's so cheap i saved 400 dollars by buying this product and um there you go that's just like a different um like a different i know positioning that can make all the difference okay the second thing is like building like a high quality website this is also very important you know and it really like goes hand in hand with finding a good product because if you have a good product but website is not great it's not gonna sell so what i love to do right when it comes to selling my website is seeing uh seeing how i can actually position my website in a way that truly truly resonates with my customers so here's like a little hack that i'll share with you right now that not anyone not like many people know all you have to do is literally go on amazon and uh, go and search up the product you're selling and go and read the reviews and the frequently asked questions for the product you're selling and see what people are saying like this is the literally the easiest way to start getting lots of ideas for how you should like position a product within the marketplace so if you go to like uh um so, so well, my point is that like whatever product you're trying to sell right just look at what people are already saying about it and then if they are saying that like, okay you know what uh, this smart watch is the like, um what i like about it is it has this like uh blood monitoring uh blood pressure monitoring features it can monitor my heart rate i really love the health features then you want to highlight those points in your main copy of your product page you want to really make those points stand out so that people can like look at it and be like oh yeah this that's exactly what i wanted you know because the fact that they're already saying this in the reviews and the and they're asking those questions in the frequently asked que ask question in the you know amazon on the product page tell, tells 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 you that they are really interested in those points and for you as a marketer you just have to take those things and highlight to them and, and reinforce that that is what you want and uh, yeah this is literally so easy to do um the other thing that you can do is uh, look at how like uh your competitors are doing like really really big billion dollar brands i'm not talking about other drop shipping brands so like the way i kind of like did my you know website layout although it's not to the best imitation was i look at fit fitbit and i just tried to copy the website to the best i could which wasn't exactly like fitbit um but this is like literally like what you could you can do to start like using the results that they have already gotten because here's the thing right these brands they spend like millions and billions of dollars on testing i don't know if they spend billions but definitely have millions tens and hundreds of millions of testing every single year so if they are really working with the rubbish layout it means that they are probably making money from it it means that it's probably like the most successful template they've tried out so far then all you have to do is just rip the rewards by just using stealing you know stealing what's already working right good artists don't copy right good artists steal and that's not from me that's like from some like YouTube stuff, okay? Um, the other thing about building a high quality website is you want to focus on optimizing your product page. Uh, don't, don't like focus so much about the homepage. Honestly, the homepage is not important. I know like some people are gonna bash me for this, but this is the truth, you know? All my websites that I'm launching right now, the homepage is like, really, really terrible. There's like basically no homepage. In the homepage, I just basically have like a feature product where they can add to cut button and a link to send them to the product page. So it's like, literally all I optimize is the product page and this uh, works really well for me. Because what I notice with, your, uh, with consumers is if you're focusing on like the, you know, the uh, front end sales, which is what every single dropshipper is doing, right? People, they are not really gonna be scrolling around your website that much to kind of like determine whether or not you're credible. Most of the time, they're just gonna look at your product page and then they're gonna instantly know whether or not they wanna buy, buy a product or not. And maybe you could like retarget them to like get them to come, go back, come back to your website to buy from you again. But even on a retargeting page, it's always gonna be sent towards like your product page. And this is just a work, work really well for me, okay? So moving on to the next point, which is also extremely important. Same goes with every single six points. All of them are extremely important. 
is uh, optimizing your Google Ads listings and making sure that you have really, really good images and uh, very good like keywords, right? So ideally, right, what you wanna do is find keywords that are laser targeted towards the product you're selling. Even better if it's stated towards the angle as well. So what I mean here is like, for example, we got this um, smartwatch over here. And the reason why I was able to sell this product so successfully, like literally over like seven figures in sales with one product is because I found a unique angle to position the product, which is like, you know, the fact that the price point is low, that's one. But the other thing was also the fact that we had this like blood pressure monitoring features. And I used those keywords in my, um, my um, listing setup. So I was saying that this is like a blood pressure smartwatch. Instead of just writing my product listing as a smartwatch, I wrote it as a blood pressure smartwatch. And even though the keywords volume is a lot lower, like 10,000 a month, but the kind of audience that you're gonna be targeting is gonna be way more relevant, way more specific. And this way your ads are gonna be converting, you're gonna be making money. And then Google is also gonna start like ranking your listings in other search terms as well. So what you wanna do is really focus on keywords that are laser targeted. And the other thing that I also noticed work really well for me is like testing different kind of images such as like lifestyle based images. Um, I really wanna test everything like lifestyle, like a white background, packaging images, and then you wanna test multiple listings for each product. And I actually have an example that I want to show you guys, right? If we look at this a uh, laptop stand, it's just like a laptop stand that pretty much everyone's seen before on like, um, when uh, when the pandemic came like in 2020, 2019, this was like a really hot selling product because people are working from home, but now it's not so much. So if you look at this brand, right? Revo adjustable laptop stand, you'll see that they, they actually have like two def separate listings that send them towards the same product right and i think it's the same landing page as well right literally the same maybe they just have like a different domain to kind of like you know um to kind of game the system um but what they did was basically they had like different images you can see like one is like a you know showing that the product being used from different places another one was like just showing the product like same the, showing the product with like different elements of how you could use the product in the background which is a little bit smaller so they also have like different search terms, right? Like flexible laptop stand, which is the main one. This one is like Revo Flex Stand. Um, so these different search terms are also gonna really impact the way your you know ads rank compared to the other listings. So you wanna test as many as possible. That's why I found work really well for me. So the fourth thing is getting your GMC to be approved. And this is like the biggest problem that anyone's gonna face when you're getting your um, you know, your product listings to be approved. And thankfully for, you know, for you guys, if you're actually interested in uh, working with me one-to-one, -one, if you wanna learn from me, like, and uh, go more in depth about the strategies that we're talking about, um, this is something that I also help my students with, but this is not something that I publicly like, help the like, random people because, the, you know, I got like contacts that I, that I work with to help me to get my stores to be approved, which I am very hesitant to share with. Um, but anyway, like what I found to work in general is that you wanna collect as many approved GMCs as possible, right? Um, what, what I found out the best is like launching a lot of one product stores and then you just want to kind of like just try to get as many of them to be approved because what, what I found with the thing about GMC is when you get one GMC to be approved you can use the same GMC for like many products you know you could like launch more products into it or you could even switch out a domain and kind of like use it for like a different one product store so basically if you have like one GMC to be approved that is already an asset that you can use for other brands, other testing, and you want to collect as many of these assets as possible. That's kind of like how I see it. Um, two other things that you can do is like work with experts on Fiverr or Upwork, or you could like buy approved like GMCs, um, which is not very ideal, honestly. Tested this myself, didn't work, but um, I know it do works for some people, so there's an idea that you can experiment with. Um, but this is definitely something that I feel like I've gotten the grips of, like, uh, you know, walking around. Um, right now, we have like 9 or 10 approved GMCs and we are still getting like more and more each day. I'm um, Not more and more each day, but more and more each week, you know, trying to get like 2 to 3 GMCs to be approved each week. So, um, yeah, that's definitely something that's a little bit tougher. So, right now I'm going to show you guys how you can set up the shopping campaigns, which is basically going to go into my ads. And I'll show you like how I basically set up my campaign for literally every single product, which gotten results like this, you know. Um, so this is the main product that we're selling, right? For the seven figure product, spent about, main campaign spent about $283,000 in uh, Singapore dollars, which is about 200, 200K US. Got about 2.05 returns, but in reality it's more like three because Google don't 
attribute like they don't like count like one third of the sales that you get the tracking is not like 100 percent perfect so how i typically do it is like really simple click on new campaign click on sales um set up your google pixel first and foremost make sure you already got it done i'm not gonna teach you how to do it because this is actually relatively simple compared to the rest of the steps then we're gonna click on the shopping um obviously because we are running shopping campaign then you wanna you know click on your merchant account and then um standard shopping account right standard shopping campaign i don't like to test i don't like test like smart shopping campaign because with smart shopping campaign google basically they just like spend your ads all like anywhere and most of the time this doesn't perform that well i speed tested this for like eight stores and none of them perform well so i've been using standard shopping campaign ever since um then continue and i'm just gonna call it like cardiac health shopping dash us additional settings none of this and i always go with like manual cpc because manual cpc is the best you can control your bids that you spend basically you can control you know like um you can control everything basically so i really like it i and i the other thing is i also haven't like really tested other strategy strategies yet to the fullest um i tested like some like a little bit but i always found that manual cpc seems to always outperform the rest so i've been sticking with that ever since i will turn this on um i find that you know sometimes it helps to get more like sales so i'm just gonna click uh click this um for the budget right you i i typically like start with like hundred dollars um us dollars or singapore dollars doesn't really matter but the thing with the budget is like i kind of see it as like uh you know the thing with like google is it, most of the time it's not gonna like spend your entire budget unless it's a product that people are really searching for so you set like a relatively low budget at like hundred dollars and once you start like getting sales maybe you can increase it to like one thousand dollars if you want to scale the campaign which you will actually get into into later so you want to take this one for the location i'm gonna go with like united states and basically right for google right like 80 percent 70 to 80 percent of the sales is gonna be coming from the us um probably more towards like 80 to 90 percent honestly so it says in the us and one thing you want to do is you want to click on location options and then you want to check just the box that says presence because you don't want people that are living in singapore that are interested in the united states like like me i may be living in singapore but i may be searching for like the us and you don't even ask to be shown to me because i'm not like relevant and I could be from like a third world country where my purchasing power is really low so I may look at a product but I may not buy so you just want to focus on people in the US uh, for the bids right I typically like start at 60 cents uh, US dollars that's about like 90 cents uh, Singapore dollars and click on create campaign and then that's it <laughs> that's all that's all for the fifth steps the simplest one but you also gotta get it right all right so we're gonna move on to the last point which is scaling to the moon and how i typically do it so when it comes to scaling right i typically like to just like first thing i like to do is just launch in other countries in uh, canada in australia in new zealand and united kingdom and see like what kind of works but i found that most of the time when i'm uh, like what works the best for me tend to be like canada and australia uk haven't like really performed that well for me i'm not too sure why maybe it's because of the product that i'm selling it's not really hot in there but definitely just want to test them because if you have like additional traffic and if they convert they're gonna be making more profits for the store in general so why not just do that um the other thing they could do is also like what i did which is consider setting up a new store in a european country for example what i did for my smartwatch store is i basically took this same product and i converted it into a germany store and basically the entire store was in german i just hired like someone on like fiverr to help me convert the language to german and then just copy and paste everything and find like the german keywords that are like uh, you know with like very high search volume and then test it and it just work okay and that like helped me generate like 15 to 20 percent more sales because we did about 140 to 150k in the in germany so the third thing that you could do is set up bing ads a uh, big ads is going to help you to generate like 10 to like 15 probably like 15 20 percent more sales because the thing about bing ads is like um the same is exactly the same as google but you're targeting like basically a different pool of audience they use like aol they use like yahoo and the search on bing so literally you're going to get the same kind of results the same kind of like return on advertising spend if you test on bing and you're going to be making more money and you're going to be happy microsoft bill gates is going to be happy as well everyone's going to be happy right 
The last thing that you could do is just by adding more product listings, maybe you could like test more different angles, test different like uh, keywords for the same product you're selling. And this is basically what I found to actually kind of like work the best for me so far when it comes to scaling. And I hope that in this like video, you know, we kind of like went through every single step and, all, and although to be honest, it's not like super in detail, but what I really want for you for, what I really want for this video is to, for you to have like a bird's eye view of like the entire strategy for how you can actually start generating over $1,000 per day on Google Ads. And uh, so I'm going to do for you is for every single part of the video, for every single element for success to, you know, generate 1K a day, I'm going to leave a link to a video that I've made in the past, which you can also go and watch, which I go more in depth in like each of these elements. So, you know, you can thank me later when you start making money and, uh, um, you can uh, leave a like on this video if you if you really did uh, provide some if you got some value out of it that will help me a lot to like grow my channel and to motivate me to make more videos and uh, let me know if you got any questions down in the comment section box below ask me any questions I reply to everyone and uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel hit the subscribe button I make a lot of like e-commerce videos uh, business mindset personal development kind of videos but mostly e-commerce dropshipping Google with Google Ads and I'll see you in the next one.